Time to get the first round of mods done. Stay tuned. That's right. the morning after Scott got a 5.0. It hasn't even been 24 hours. <laughs> so we have already hooned the 5.0 and now it's time to make it louder. X-pipe, particularly. Yeah. And we have to fix a little exhaust rattle in the back. This exhaust rattle, rattle that yeah. came with the car. As you could probably see in that cold start clip. We're headed out to Orlando, the Tyler Barnes exhaust shop. The one that uh, we went to before with uh, Ashley's 5.0. So uh, that's gonna go get done and this thing's gonna be louder. Tubes. Open up the tubes. your initial impressions oh, I'm in love it's great it's the only exhaust really to do for the car it's loud and proud 
No shame. All right, we're rolling. Clutch in when you pass the cops. Welcome home. Welcome to your new Welcome to your new playground. <laughs> Every day, twice a day, it's gonna do this. to do the uh, second mod of the day and that is going to be what Scott you gotta put the Roush hood back on that's why we went with black <laughs> car is going from stock to loud and looking good gonna be tuned uh, probably Monday or something like that yep we're get her uh, we're get her the end gauge this thing is gonna be sick you gonna get a startup video yeah <laughs> Oh my god. Start up video. My neighbors right are going to now. A straight line V8. It sounds like a NASCAR. to uh, stop by here. Look at all the challengers, wow. Wow, that's a lot of Mopar. Yeah, there's John and Angel. Oh, that's why we saw him pass us, pass by. I see a blower. Is that a VMP blower? I feel parked in front for now. Did Jay do it or? Jay. He's the one who put the blower in my car. Oh, yeah? Angel's car. So nice. Oh, it's a slant nose. Beauty. Is it still no friends in The CCWs? Yeah. Alright, that was a quick stop at this Cars and Coffee. Small Cars and Coffee is the first time I've been here. We're gonna head out of here, uh, go swap the hood and car the wheels. Oh man, it's so loud. So much attention. So awesome. Can you hit it? No what? cops. hood on. Alright, so we got the hood on.
Bam. Bam. So we took that stock GT hood off, put a GT hood with a Roush hood scoop. It's a really good look. It was also on the Eco EcoBoost as well. This isn't something that you haven't seen already. But uh, the GT is going to go from stock to not stock in a very short amount of time. <gasps> stock so huge. We just left uh, Scott's parents' house. We put the hood on the, uh, not the Eco, the GT. Uh, we're going to head over to Brothers Performance to see if they have these Maximum Motorsports low profile IRS subframe bolts because I'm supposed to be training my wheels with someone but they want these uh, these bolts to make sure these tires fits which my car doesn't have uh, the subframe bolts but you know we're gonna go check hopefully they have them so I can definitely trade these wheels today because I really want chrome I don't know if I have mentioned this trade yet in this video uh, but I'm trying to trade the uh, black Celines for a set of uh, chrome 0304 carbon rails and the solution for uh, Scott's horsepower need. to Mexico last night. Did? Yeah, that's the video. I did a huge burn out here. <laughs> Ready? Rip it. Back at Andrews, we're going to start working on the Cobra today, but as soon as we got back, we noticed this, a flat NT05. Can't find the nail, so we don't really know where the leak is coming from, but we got to fix it. So we found the nail right here on the sidewall. Not sure if it's patchable, it's really close to the edge, so we're not too sure. But this was a nice NT05. Was. Was a nice NT05. Alright, we got the drag radial on. It's gonna be the temporary fix. But we're still gonna go get the tire looked at. Maybe there's some hope. Maybe. Maybe. Definitely not how I expected today to go. Okay. Is what it is. Off to the tire shop. Probably here can take care of us. Alright, we're out here with the tire. Gonna be doing some light patch work with a plug just to get us through. It's really not a patchable tire, but you know, gotta hobble on it for a day until we can get a replacement. So Javier here is going to help us patch it. Going to learn some new things today.
You might want to keep this as a souvenir. <laughs> that oh, thing yeah. is big. Great souvenir. Woo! Nice one. The culprit of all her troubles. The fashion attire normally need to be uh, no more like 3 8 Stick it in pocket. Yeah, I'm... I need somebody with power. Try your car. Up there. Anthony's got power and, and a little weight. <laughs> This heart-stopping crash came out of nowhere, the car flipping over nearly a dozen times. Police now examining this video to determine why the driver completely lost control. Good Samaritans come to the rescue, flipping the car right side up and pulling the man through a window from the wreckage. Luckily, no one else was hit, the driver taken by helicopter to a local hospital. You got two black 5-0s here. Scott's is super loud. This one. It's going to be louder, right? A little bit. Do you care to explain what's going to happen here? Quads, baby. Quads. And here we have a new balance for quads. It's going to look sweet. Just a little bit of trimming. Big old haul. And you guys saw the exhaust video the other day of this. Apparently there's baffles of some sort or a resonator inside these tips so he's gonna see if it gets louder with some quads all right guys uh we have the cobra the tire is patched up but uh didn't put it on yet gonna let that plug kind of dry up and uh get solid in there and uh we're gonna head out to a meet i got the cobra here kind of just chilling uh it is on one of those drag radials so you know the car can sit and whatnot uh, we're gonna get ready to roll out we got brian and scott i'm gonna roll in the five liters leaving the cobra here uh, just because it's on a kind of wacky set of wheels for now um you know we'll see what we do with that tire uh, the plug looks okay brian claims that it should be okay to drive on what do you think brian about the plug JLT. What's your pro professional opinion on the plug? Burn it off. <laughs> That's excellent that. advice. Advice. Take him uh, to Mexico, dude. Take him to Mexico. How about that? Mexico! <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna roll to the meat. That's beautiful. Sail a little bit high. 
Mustang jokes about spinning out and hitting them, but uh, yeah, pretty good meat. Rolling out, yeah. beautiful sunset. Taking a moment to just fanboy it up for a minute. Had to stop by Real Street. Is that a Mustang, that a Mustang yeah. at Real Street Performance? <laughs> yeah, they're actually here right now working on some cars. We went and drove through the back down behind Brian's car, and they had a couple black Supras up on lifts. And, seeing all the high horsepower stuff. But yeah, always nice to have these legends in your backyard making just absolute crazy streetcars driving around North Orlando. Oh, the sign just turned on. Hey, it's nighttime officially. Yeah. <laughs> I just love a clean Oxford White Terminator. This thing is so rare. <laughs> Hey guys, we just left Zach, uh, Zach's house. He hooked me up with a Pro 5.0 shifter, uh, shifter handle. So my uh, Pro 5.0 actually had a Stita Triax handle, which I literally hate. So I'm gonna try throwing that on the car. Uh, my car, it has still the drag radials on it, one or drag radial on one. Uh, I'm gonna throw the NT05 back on, maybe. Uh, still trying to trade those wheels. So don't know what's gonna happen with that. Uh, but I did pick up that handle. That's uh, Zach's White Cobra. He just picked that up. It's a beautiful Oxford White Cobra with uh, 27,000 miles. Uh, so really, really nice car. Uh, we're uh, we're at Scott's uh, parents' house. He's uh, he's picking up some things here, and we're gonna head back home and uh, see what the rest of the night brings. As it is Sunday and you know what time it is cold start time it's some AC on in here hey guys it is Sunday and uh, we're gonna go head over to Brian's and or Brian's friend's shop he's gonna be putting on the I guess a set of quads or maybe the Roush Valence I don't know if he's putting on the quads 
Uh, but we're gonna hit up some uh, coffee first and head over there. And up at the Starbucks drive-thru, we just texted Brian if he wanted anything, but he hasn't texted us back. So this is video evidence that Good. we didn't just forget him. Starbucks, my name's Cheyenne. What can I get started for you? Hey, Cheyenne. Um, can I get a large iced coffee, black, no cream, no sugar? A large black iced coffee, no cream, no sugar, anything yes, else? Uh, can I get a large uh, caramel iced coffee with cream and three Splenda? And no curbing. And no curbing. The Curb Bro 5-0. <laughs> because we all know how that worked out. So I hit the fault button. With my wheel. So uh, we were describing how that curb rash went last time, and uh, this clip is a pretty good representation of it. Keep going, you're good, you're good, you're good, and stop. Don't worry, Captain, we'll buff out those scratches. rolled up on this and Brian is super happy that he has to jack up the car before it goes up on a lift. Today we're going to unbox. Ooh. Oh, it's going to look sweet. It's going to look awesome. <laughs> well, they're the same size as the stock, as your single tip. Yeah. I already pulled it up. Changing this bumper off. So, uh, we need to uh, just figure out a plan to uh, steal these wheels from Brian. I don't want to pay for new tires, so I want those. And the bumper is off. I changed right. my mind, I want to go back. Fuck that up already. going on? The Roush balance is placed on the car. The single tips are still in existence. Almost there. Not doing the quad tips today. Um, looks like it's going to need a little bit of exhaust modification. So uh, we'll see what that looks like when it's finished. Uh, probably not this video, but the uh, next video or so. Do it already, man. <laughs> Putting the tail lights on here, finishing this up. Quad tips will be uh, done later this week, but it looks good on the ground. What's up with these black Corvette convertibles, man? Revving at us everywhere. I-95, the land. What's next? Hey guys, we are back. Um, I'm actually gonna go throw the tire on uh, after the patch. I'm gonna throw it on the, the uh, Cobra and uh, make it drivable again, and uh, probably throw on the short throw handle uh, that I picked up from Zach. Big thanks to Zach. He uh, he helped me out with the handle, the Pro 5.0 handle, because I have a Pro 5.0 short throw shifter, but it has a Stita Triax handle, which I hate. So hopefully this makes it feel a lot better. So uh, let's go ahead and get that started. Hey guys, we're in the car now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the shifter off. Ignore the wiring mess. Uh, this is just my microphone, which I'm actually gonna route over there, left, all the way up, and up to here uh, to go ahead and fix that. I'm doing this with AC on, car on, uh, just because it's super hot in here, um, and I don't actually have to open the transmission up. Let's get this started. All right guys, we are halfway there. Uh, I'm just gonna pull this off the stock shifter, which uh, he gave with uh, with this. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and unbolt these and bolt it onto there and we'll be done. So I'm going from this one on the left to the Pro 5.0 handle on the right. I believe this one on the left is a Stita, and the one on the right is Pro 5.0. So I'm gonna get these swapped out. All right, the hard part's done. Just gotta put the uh, trim back on and uh, put the knob on and see how I feel. All right guys, so the shifter is on. Um, not sure how it feels so far. It feels smoother. 
So overall, I like it. Uh, we're gonna see how it goes when I drive it. Um, but so far, so so far, so good. All right, guys. After taking that little drive down the street, went to the grocery store. I am definitely liking the shifter. Uh, feels much better. I uh, did one uh, no lift shift, and it feels so much better. So I can't believe the little handle fixed that. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. Thanks, Zach, for hooking me up with that. And uh, we'll see what the rest of the day brings. We're gonna go meet up with Brian. I was expecting quad tips, but then I noticed that it's only rear diffuser. No, the quads are in the cars. Yes. Now we're gonna get some gator and whatever else. Gator. Gator, sweet tail of tops. Hey guys, thanks for watching. This week was filled with so much stuff. Uh, we had to put it into two parts. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm super excited. Scott got a 5.0. We're twins now. We have the same exhaust set up. Uh, Tune will be in the next video. We'll have the same on that. Um, really exciting. We appreciate all the positive comments that we've been seeing. Uh, we see all of them. We read all of them. We reply to most of them. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Um, this is just the beginning of all the exciting things that we're doing. So thanks guys.